Age of Mythology is a game of heroes and monsters, mighty armies and epic deeds. Lead your culture through the ages, from humble beginnings in a small village, to mighty citadels protected by the power of the gods. Tear down the walls of Troy. Battle giants in the frozen wastes near Midgard and fight armies of Anubites in the shifting sands of Egypt. The gods, as a token of appreciation, may someday reward you with great earth-changing powers in Age of Mythology. Today, your task is a simple one. The hero, Arkantos, has sailed to an island far from his home in Atlantis, seeking the Cyclops. The slaying of this mythical beast will bring great glory to Arkantos and his hunters. But before we take on the mythical creature, we must learn how to march. Left-click on Arkantos to select him. Good. Now right-click near the blue flag to move along the path. Malista. If you're ever unsure about what to do next, check the Objectives banner. Click the flashing Objectives banner to see your current goal. Move your mouse to the top of the screen to scroll the view in the main game window to the next flag. Well done! Right-click the ground near the next flag to keep moving down the beach. Esto. Ne. Here come the other Atlantean warriors. Drag a box around Arkantos and the other men. All of the hunters are now selected and will move in a group. Continue down the path to the next flag. Prostagma. Vulume. Arkantos and his men have not yet explored this part of the island so part of the path is still hidden in darkness. The black area represents unexplored territory. Scroll the screen up until you see the next flag. This is where the beast's trail continues. Right-click the flag where the trail continues beyond the black area. The men will move forward revealing the path as they go. Malista. Excellent. Continue down the path to the next flag. Ne. Notice the diamond-shaped window at the bottom right corner of the screen. This is the mini-map. The mini-map shows you where you are and also places you haven't explored yet. Left-clicking on the mini-map will instantly move the view in the main game window. When you're ready, Continue down the path and seek out the Cyclops. Esto. Ne. Malista. Ne. Look there, the Cyclops! To attack, Malista. make sure your units are selected. Then right-click on the He's Cyclops. Again the gods bless us! We have returned! To properly honor the gods, you must gather 100 food, 100 wood, and 100 gold. Then build a temple. The displays in the bottom left corner of the screen show that you already have some food. But if you're going to gather more resources, you'll have to use what food you have to create or train a villager. The flashing structure is a town center. Left click the town center to select it. Now click the flashing button to begin training a villager. Training a villager will cost you food. When training a unit, 
You can check the progress by looking at the flashing icon at the bottom of the screen, just to the left of the minimap. Well done! You've trained a villager. To gather resources, left click on a villager to select him, then right click on the resource. For example, the flashing goats are a good source of food. With a villager selected, right click on one of the goats. The villager will gather food until he has a full load, then return to the town center to drop it off. Well done! The villager will continue to gather food until you tell him to stop, or he runs out of goats. Look! Additional villagers have come to help gather resources. Select another villager and put him to work by right-clicking on the flashing farm. Now gather wood from trees and gold from gold mines. Select a villager then right-click the resource. Βρητόμος. Λέγε μεταλλεύς. Πρόσεχε. If you're ever unsure about what to do next, check the objectives banner. Click the flashing objectives banner to see your current goal. Μάλιστα. Έτοιμη. Έστω. You have plenty of food. Πρόσταγμα. Λέγε. Πρόσεχε, μάλιστα. Λέγε. Έτοιμη, βούλομαι. Έτοιμος. Έτοιμη, βρυτόμος. Πρόσεχε. You have plenty of wood. Πρόσταγμα. Πρόσεχε. Πρόσεχε. Μεταλλεύς. Έτοιμη. You have plenty of gold. Πρόσεχε. Μάλιστα. Well done. You have the resources to build a temple. Select a villager. Notice the buttons at the bottom left side of the screen. These are the buildings the villager can build, such as houses and granaries. Left click the temple button, then left click the main game window to place it. Μάλιστα. Πρόσεχε, λέγε, μάλιστα. The villager that built the temple has started to worship, and your favor is increasing. Additional worshippers will make your favor rise more rapidly. Select additional villagers, then right-click the temple. Έτοιμος, ναι. Έτοιμος. Your offerings have pleased the gods. Ships. Hmm, those might be Kamos's pirates. Quick, back to camp. We'll prepare a welcome they won't soon forget. Arkantos and the other hunters are mighty warriors. 
But you'll need to create a larger army if you're going to defeat the pirates. But first, since you already have a temple, you should advance to the next age. Select the town center. The flashing button allows you to advance to the next age. Click it now. The choice of minor god determines which mythical creatures you can summon and what powers the gods grant you. You can only pick one minor god to follow for each age, so choose carefully. Once you have made your choice, left-click the image of one of the gods to begin advancing to the next age. Now, to increase your army of warriors, building an academy will let you train hoplites. Select a villager. The academy is flashing. You have plenty of resources, so select it and place it. You can send additional villagers to help build the academy by selecting a group and right-clicking the foundation of the academy. But make sure to leave a few gathering resources. The academy is complete. Now, select it. Click the flashing button to train a hoplite. Clicking multiple times will queue up several hoplites to train one after another. For now, train four hoplites to help defend the camp. You have reached your population limit. In order to increase your population limit, order a villager to build a house. Select a villager. The house button is flashing. Select it and place it. Βούλωμε. Λέγε, ναι. Πρόσεχε, ναι. Θρητόμος. Well done. Each house will increase your maximum population, but you're limited to 10 houses. To further increase your population limit, you could claim additional settlements such as this one. Select a villager, click the flashing button. Most buildings can be placed anywhere, but a town center can only be built on a settlement. Place the new town center as if you were placing another building, but instead of left-clicking on open ground, left-click directly on the flashing unclaimed settlement. Μάλιστα. Πρόσταγμα, ναι. A sentry tower would help us spot the pirates when they approach. The flagged location would be an excellent place to build a sentry tower. Select a villager, choose the sentry tower and build it near the flag. Excellent. Now we'll see them coming. For extra protection, you should improve your tower. Select the tower. The flashing button will improve all of your towers to watch towers. Left click it now. Lady. Mythical creatures are summoned from your temple and can be extremely effective against the enemy's human soldiers and buildings. Select the temple. It's the flashing building near the center of your village. You have enough favor and other resources to summon a centaur. The centaur is very fast and an excellent ranged unit. He will help us scout the island and locate the pirate camp. Summon a centaur by clicking the flashing button. Prostagma. The pirates are approaching. Protect your villagers by ringing the town Thank bell. You. Select the town center. Click the flashing town bell button. When the town bell rings, your villagers take shelter in the nearest town center or watchtower. Hetimos, vulome. Hetimos, pani. Prostagma. Orthos. Orthos. You have fought off the pirates' initial attack. Now send all of your villagers back to work. 
Select the town center, click the flashing button. Your villagers will leave the safety of the town center and return to their tasks. You have trained enough soldiers to defeat the pirates. Their camp is located here. Gather your army together and send them to attack. Vulome. Ne. Vritomos. Etemos. Esto. Vulome. Esto. Vulome. The gods have rewarded you with the meteor power. God powers can be used at any time and can completely change the course of battle. However, they can only be used once. Show the pirates what the power of the gods can do. Left click the flashing meteor button, then left click somewhere in the pirate camp. Victory is ours! Well done, men! Break camp and load the ships! We sail for Atlantis with the tide.